Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, how can we construct the PDA. So in the previous session, we have uh, discussed about uh, uh, the definition of PDA and this PDA is defined or as a seven tuple so which is consists of a Q the number of states Sigma input alphabet Gamma which is nothing but uh, the stack symbols Delta it's a transition function Q naught initial state Z naught top of the stack and F is a final state. So we need to represent these all seven tuple for PDA. Right? So we'll see the example now. Example. So we need to construct the PDA for the language L is equal to A power N and B power N, where N greater than or equal to 1. So we need to construct the PDA for this particular language. Right? First of all, let us write down the strings for this language. So L is equal to, so when N is equal to 1, so because N greater than or equal to 1, so initially N is equal to 1, the result will be A, B. When N is equal to 2, A, A, B, B. N is equal to 3, A, N, sorry, sorry, sorry. B and so on. So this is a language. So here you can observe the things. One is A, I mean A followed by B. That means we need to write a B only after A. And the number of A's and number of B's should be equal. So you need to remember these two things. And also in the definition we have seen the PDA is nothing but a final state machine plus a stack. So here we will be having some stack. So in the stack, we need to apply the push and pop operations in order to balance the string. Okay. Now we will see the delta function. In the previous session, we have seen the delta function, delta of Q, right? A and Y. So here Q is a current state. Q is a current state, A is input to be processed, Y means top of stack, right, is equal to delta of some Q dash comma some alpha. So here Q dash is a new state and alpha is string of stack symbols in stack string of stack symbols in stack so automatically the y is replaced with this alpha y is replaced with this alpha and a is nothing but the input we need to process right the input we need to process and here see you can observe here the sigma is equal to a comma b Two input symbols, right? We can we have to write either A or a B here. And Q we need to find out how many states we require, right? And a Q naught. So let us take a Q naught as an initial state. Q naught as an initial state, and Z naught is a top of stack. So if you consider any question or any problem, if you want to find the PDA, so consider Z naught as a top of the stack. Okay, so no, not only the Z naught, you can give any any other alphabet or any other symbol. So consider that as a top of the stack. And F is a final state. We need to find out the number of states so that we can give the final state. And we need to find the delta function with this formula. So delta of, so here the delta function, transition function is represented in three tuple. One is a current state, second one is the input symbol, and the third one is a top of the stack. And which gives the output with a two tuple, one is a new state and the string of stack symbols. Okay, not only the top of the stack, the string of stack symbols in the available in the stack. Now, 
Hope you understood this one. Now we have to write the transition function for this particular language. Okay, so let us start. Let us start here. So Q0 is the initial state and consider this one. Okay, consider this one. So first one is A. Q0 upon A input symbol. Initially, the stack is having the Z. The stack is having Z0. Okay, so Z0 must give. Okay, so here you can observe the number of A's are equal to number of B's. Number of A's are equal to number of B's. And definitely the B's should be followed by A. Right? Now you can see if you are getting A, simply you can use a push operation. And if you are having a B, we can all automatically we can pop the A. We can pop the A. So here three things can be done. For any transition function, three things can be done. So either we can push, either we can pop, or we can keep it as a same. That is called unchanged. Unchanged. The stack symbols will be unchanged. So these three things will be happened for every transition function. So that depends upon our input string. So we need to select one among these. Either push or a pop or unchanged. So here in this case, you can see the number of A's and number of B's are equal. The number of A's and number of B's are equal. So whenever I got A, I will push that into the, pop, into the stack. And whenever I get a B, I will pop that particular A outside. Right? See, now consider A. We need to push into the stack. We need to push into the stack. So before pushing into the stack, bring this Z0 out, add this A, and again push this into the stack. You just follow the procedure, right? So just remove this Z0, that means pop this Z0 from the stack, add the top of the stack, okay, uh, sorry, add the input string, and again you pop, uh, sorry, again you push into the stack, right? From, from right to left, from right to left. So in this case, you can observe here, in this case, initially the top of the stack is Z0. So this is the top of the stack. What happens? We have we want here the first input is A because take answer the input A A A B B B. So now we are just giving the this one. So this is the input tape. Okay, input tape. So now the input is A. So we need we are getting A. So I just want to push into the stack. So what I have to do? So I have to remove this Z not. So after removing this Z0, this Z0 will be here and I will append this A to this one and now I have to apply the push operation. So if you apply this push operation, what happens from right to left, from right to left. First you push Z0, so Z0 will be here and then you push A, so A will be here, okay, A will be here. So when you pop the element, A will be popped because the insertion and deletion will be done from single end. Okay, the insertion and deletion will be done from the single end, from the top of the stack itself, right? So, now you can observe here, inserting A, Z0 and A will be available in the stack. Now you can see, what would be the result? Remains in the same thing and what is the next one result? The stack symbols available in the, the string of stack symbols available in the stack. So A, Z0 will be the transition function. So Q0 with input A, with Z0 as a top of the stack, it moves to Q0 and the resultant of the stack will be A, Z0. Now, again, coming to the second one. Coming to the second one. Now, again, Q0, now the initial state is Q0 and with A, what is the top of the stack here? A. So now, after insertion of A, now the top of the stack will be this one. So here we need to write this one. Top of the stack is equal to. Top of the stack is equal to. What we have to do? Again, we need to push that because whenever A is there, we are pushing. Whenever B is occurred, we are popping. So just push that one. So what we have to do? We have to get the A Z0 outside and add this one and again push it into stack. So 
whenever you push this one, so A Z naught and A, so here you can pass Z naught because we need to push from right to left. So A here and again A here. So here now the top of the stack is A again. Right? Hope you understood after this one. So what happens here? It will remain in the same state and now the uh, resultant is A A Z naught. A A Z naught because this is the content of the stack. This is the content of the stack. Again, what happens? It moves to the next input tape that is A. Now the result is Q naught with A with A is equal to again you need not change this one and you have to insert once again so bring out the content of the stack okay sorry bring out the top of the stack not the content and add this one and again you just push into the stack so what happens here z naught a a and a so this is the resultant Step. So this is the top of the step. This is the top of the step. So what happens here? A, 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 Z, not. So this is the resultant of the step. Resultant of the step. Now, go to the next one. Go to this one. B. So input has been changed. Rather than A, it is now B. Now what happens? So Q not the state. What is the input? B. And what is the top of the stack here? A. What we have to do? We have to pop. Because equal number of A's and equal number of B's. In order to balance the input string, whenever the A is coming, we are just pushing into the stack. Whenever the B is coming, we are just popping the element. We are removing the element from the stack. So here, change the state Q1 to Q1 comma. What we have to do? Pop pop the element. So if you are applying the pop operation, simply you need to represent it as epsilon. So epsilon is nothing. Okay, epsilon means nothing. So if you give the epsilon, that implies the pop. See, so q dash comma epsilon will represent the pop. Okay, that means it will remove the top of the stack. That's it. It doesn't add anything. It will just remove the element. So we have to represent the pop operation with this particular resultant q dash which is a new state and epsilon so if you write this one q will come epsilon that implies the pop operation will be done so the resultant stack will be z naught a and a okay because we are removing this one now z naught a a again move to the next input so q naught Right? What is the next one? B. What is the top of the stack here? So no, this is not a Q0. Okay. Here we have changed it. Now Q1. Q1, B. And what is the top of the stack here? Again it's A. Again it's A. So what's the resultant? Again we need to pop. So just it remains in the same state and give the epsilon which represents the pop operation. So this is very important. This is the representation of a pop. So if you want to pop the element, just go with the state with epsilon. State with epsilon. And again, just move the input tape. So it is the next one, right? So again, you can observe Q now Q1, comma, the input is B. What's the top of the stack here? So here we have not given the stack Z0 and A. So what is the top of the stack here? So this is the top here, and this is the top here. So top of the stack is A. So what we have to do? Again, we need to pop. So Q1 comma epsilon so automatically the stack is having only z naught only z naught so this is a top hope you understood this is z naught now now again write it right here q1 q1 so what's the input here there is no input because b is the ending symbol so simply the last input will be the epsilon Last input will be the epsilon. So Q1 with epsilon. So if the epsilon existed, automatically that is nothing but end of a string. End of a string. So that will be the final string. So Q1 comma epsilon. What is the top of the stack? Z0. So Z0 will be the initial stack. See, you can observe here. Z0 will be the initial. I have 
not written here. So initially the stack will be having Z0. So this will be the top of the stack. This will be the top of the stack. So from that we are just writing the delta function. So here you can see we use a delta transition functions. Okay, these are all the transition functions. So Q1, Q1 with epsilon because there is no input. So the last input will be the epsilon with the Z0 will give Q2 comma epsilon. Q2 comma epsilon. So simply we are just removing this Z0 also. Epsilon means we are removing this Z0. So automatically the stack becomes empty. The stack becomes empty. So empty stack. So this is the empty stack. Right? So automatically we can say that when 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 the empty stack came so at the state q2 now you can see q consists of q0 comma there is a one more state q1 q2 and f is a final state which is nothing but a q2 f is a final state which is nothing but a q2 an initial state and z0 is a top of the stack and a gamma is equal to stack symbols. What are the stack symbols here? Z0 and A. Only two variables. Z0 and A will be the stack symbols. I will write down somewhere else, right? So, this is how we have to write the transition functions. So, these are all the transition functions. So, one first transition, second transition, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. And you can observe here, so these two are common. Okay, so Q0 on A with A, Q0 on A with A, right? And this is, these two are common, these two are common, Q1 on B, A, Q1 on B, A, right? So, now we need to design the PDA, so we know that PDA is a, this one, Q, Epsilon, uh, sorry, Q, Sigma, Gamma, Delta, Q0, Z0 and F, I will write here the Q now, the PDA P is equal to what about the Q? First one is a Q. The Q means the states Q0, Q1, Q2. Then input symbol sigma. Sigma is nothing but a, a, a and a b. Sigma is a b. Next gamma. Gamma are the stack symbols. Stack symbols and the stack symbols we just push and pop the Z0 and a. So simply you can write a Z0 and A. And delta. Delta is these functions. Okay. Delta is these functions. And what is the next one? That is a Q0. Initial state is Q0. What is a Z0? It's a stack symbol. Top of the stack. Okay. Top of the stack. And Q2 which is a final state. Which is the final state. So this is the seven tuple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is a Q sigma gamma delta Q naught initial state top of the stack and F. So this is how we have to construct the PDA. So this is a, a simple construction of PDA for this particular language. So this is the language. Okay. This is the language. For this language, we have constructed the PDA. That means we are representing a 7 tuple. So this is a very important. First, we need to uh, write the transition functions, the initial state with the input with top of the stack, which gives the new state and the three things. One, one thing is it can be remain same, that is unchanged. We can push or we can pop. Depends upon the language and depend upon the input state. Right? So, hope you understood this uh, construction of PDA. So, let's stop here. In the next session, we'll see one more example for PDA. Right? And if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, process, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.